it's still the, the 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 main point is whatever we drop is gonna be the shit. So I don't really give a fuck. Would you say 4.0 is nearing the end? Uh, 4.0 will last as long as people want to play it. Really, it's just the cycle of the content brain. I don't think there's going to be any server that really lasts like a year nonstop, especially when it's not getting updates. I mean, it's I don't I don't think that's very common, really. Not in like a actually content like uh, server. Snowpixel was the crown jewel of GTA 5 roleplay servers. The hype, the drama, the stories. It brought people from all over, creating one of the largest roleplay communities in gaming. But these days, things look different. Snowpixel 4.0 stands on its last legs. Alright, probably not its last legs, but um, it'll probably be around forever, but, uh, you know. Prodigy is killing it. I don't think. Well, I mean, it depends on what you deem as killing it, I guess. But <laughs> um, it's just it's it's very difficult um, to be able to compare. You know what uh, what people think success in a server is, I guess, because everyone's going to have a different opinion on that. So. It would have been interesting to hear his take on what he thinks success is on a server. Prodigy really innovated with the UI. Well, I mean, it depends on what you think innovation is, my friend. Turning things on an angle isn't really an innovation. I, I, I think uh, that style of UI just doesn't suit this game at all. It's sort of like what you expect in Apex Legends, you know what I mean? Something that's like a futuristic style and that just doesn't like blend well in my opinion i mean the systems of it were fine though which is good did he just say that prodigy 2.0 is a futuristic style compared to no pixel you're telling me no pixels ui isn't it futuristic and you can obviously tell he's being he's either ignorant or he has not done any research on prodigy and their UI to compare the two and <laughs> crazy what happened to the server everyone loved to put it simply admin power gaming sloppy development and clicks within the community alienating everyone else and at the top coil the server owner seemed disconnected from his community unwilling and unable to take action you are a little pussy, really. Just, just go make your own fucking server and stop pride. I mean, there's a, there's a big difference in saying like, uh, you know, you don't feel the aesthetic of the UI look compared to, hey, that mechanic shouldn't be in the server. It's like, what the fuck are you saying, dude? It's, it's literally their server. <laughs> you, you, you motherfuckers are funny, dude. You can kind of obviously see he doesn't take uh, criticism very well. <clears throat> very set in his ways, it seems. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you're paying, a lot of people pay, like like this server, $200, $300 a month just to be able to play on this server. And if you're, <laughs> if I'm paying that kind of money, I want to be able to have some kind of say in the way that the game plays and that, how the server works and different things like that. But if you're not going to be able to take criticism or, you know, take other people's advice or or anything like that, then, you know, whoa, what's, what's, what's the point of give, me giving you my money? Like, that, that's crazy. The development team's recent work has felt half-baked with bugs, crashes, breaking immersion. But it's not just the tech. Asmin wield power like a sledgehammer, ruin immersion by bending rules for certain players while ignoring or cracking down on others for doing the same things. The community has noticed a shift, players treated unfairly, bans, reprimands handed down with little consistency. Roleplay has turned from inclusion to exclusion. If you're not part of the in crowd, you're pushed out. 
You don't agree with Angel Shiova takes RP for a power grab but kills storylines. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about as well with that because uh, I haven't been paying attention to that either. <laughs> I was actually logging in to see what uh, what laws I could uh, be an asshole with in terms of like um, seeing what laws are just fucking stupid. Essentially, I was sort of bored. Been been wanting to uh, stream again for a little bit, but been waking up and fucking working sixteen hour days. And today I woke up. up. Do you think? No picks would consider a community meeting before with 4.4 uh, 5.0. Well, I think that was like I think that was one of the issues with 4.0. Obviously, it was very rushed because of like you know things that were going around at the same time. Um, so we did we didn't even go through the process that we did with like general wipes that we've been doing for like the last ten years. You know, we'd go you usually go over the whitelist and pretty much redo it, but we just didn't have time to do any of that shit. So uh, there wasn't a community. I mean, when you when you think about how uh, rushed and um sort of just slapped in everything was uh it was still handled pretty well in my opinion uh yeah i mean the, 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 there wasn't even a community meeting with like yo well, this is what we expect this is our standard all that sort of shit it was just sort of like yeah just fucking go and see what happens um <coughs> Oh, we were gonna go next door and read the law, weren't we? Uh, maybe I don't need to stop. So, at least he is willing to, you know, admit things were rushed and they uh, skipped over a lot of things that should have been done. Um, but then again, he still takes a huge hit of copium right after he says that. <laughs> was it rushed because of X X Y Z shit? Um, I mean, I would like I said, I don't think it's. For me, um, I was at the point where I was like, bro, listen, I could put another fucking, you know, a few months into this shit uh, easily. But there's a lot of time factors that, uh, why the fuck does my shit look like this now, dude? Uh... Um, there's a lot of time factors uh, and different things that, uh, it, it just made sense for it to happen like that, really. Like, if I was going to go back and, like, magically change things, I wouldn't. Because I still think, every, every, you know, th there's a logical reason uh, why things uh, happen and whatnot, so. Coil, once the visionary behind no pixel success, seems distant. Criticism goes unaddressed, and there's little accountability. People feel the server's leader has left his creation to fend for itself in a disconnect that trickles down, making players feel like no pixel isn't what it used to be. You think it is that? You're a pro viewer. Listen, don't get me start on, started on the bullshit between fucking communities, dude. Every, every, everybody's fucking, uh, that's what I mean, like, it's, it's fucking wild, it's like a wild, wild west out here, dude. Um, uh, trying to compare, like, fucking Superman, okay, which, which was Max, versus just a fucking, uh, a person, uh, in a law system. Not only, not only was Superman invincible, okay, um, he could just fly out of fucking uh, any legal problems and throw papers on the ground and be like, yeah, no, it's changed now. Instantly, dude. Oh, shit, man. I think my fucking shit is completely cooked. I'm not unaware. It does, it's Listen, you guys are retarded, okay? Listen, listen, this is very simple as to why it's always different. I understand that people can change the law instantly, okay? <clears throat> what you complete retards don't understand is six months ago I played Soze for two months and I made it so anybody can be impeached. All right, so nobody is invincible. Okay, you understand the difference, and if you don't understand the difference, just go back to fucking like third grade school and say, "Listen, I shouldn't have dropped out. I need to go through education again." All right, 
that that's that's what needs to happen because I don't want to hear your fucking low IQ fence post takes. All right, I just can't be fucking bothered. I don't want to log into my stream and listen to some dumb cunt tell me they they're a dumb cunt. You know what I mean? Um, all right. But no pixels loss has been Prodigy's game. Prodigy 2.0 has stepped up with something special, a fairer, smoother, more inclusive server environment. They've watched no pixels mistakes and learned from them, focusing on giving players the experience they deserve. Prodigy's team is hands-on listening to players, treating everyone equally. They've built an environment where quality RP comes first. Not admin favoritism or clicks. Development is sharp and players feel heard. And taking shots at your community like that for being, I don't know, insecure about something. But just, just taking shots like that at your own community is crazy. These are people that obviously, you know, are taking the time out of their day to, you know, give you their thoughts and feelings. And, uh, you're, uh just, honestly, it's, uh, pretty, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's, that's crazy. No Pixel had a golden age. There's no denying that, but its struggles have opened a door for Prodigy which is providing a community-driven approach that can make all the difference. In this new area of GTRP, Prodigy stands out as a place where everyone has a chance to tell their story.